Hello everybody and a warm welcome to you. Uh, it's not particularly warm weather though out there. Some pretty big heavy clouds and we've had rain here. Still, even in Spain it has to rain sometime. Um, right now I'm at the table here and I'll just put the camera down there so you can see what I'm, I'm talking about. I've got here in front of me some buckets of different mixtures of some with wood ash and red clay. I've got white slip over there and that yellow bucket and then in the blue in the blue bucket there that's that's some clay I dug from the bottom just on down by the beach just about a meter out from the sea. Some clay there which makes a glaze uh, just on its own as it is. Um, may need to make some changes to that. Um, now I've got some wax here as well on the go and I've got my little gas and I just use I just use candle wax with some lamp oil mixed in 10% lamp oil or 15% lamp oil so it flows off the brush a bit better. Now I've been here, as you can see, I've got some pots here before me, which um, I'm sort of feeling my way with, with doing some, some decorations on. Some new decorations that I haven't actually done for. Now these, this pot here, you can see these little simple flowers motifs. Just simple, simply some white ingobi. 50-50 shiny clay and my my clay body here mixed together sieved. Now these flowers I actually want to cover with wax. Now that I put them on, they were simply um, let's just turn that off because it's making it a din. Um, some white ingobi here you see with my Japanese brush so I can then paint on the motif as I want it. Well that's done, I've already done that on that one and that actually needs now to be to have some wax put over the over the decoration to hide it. That simply acts as a mask you understand, over, over the decoration. So I'm going to do this now in front of you. I hope I'm not going to make a, a mistake. It's always good to make mistakes in front of the camera, isn't it? I'm simply just covering it over. Um, like that as I say that acts as a, as a mask to cover the decoration because I'm going to put another decoration then over the over the Sorry, I'm not making sense, am I? I'm going to cover the whole pot in glaze so that the, the decorations here that you see will be then will reveal themselves because the wax won't let the glaze stick. So, one more there. The trouble with hot wax is it, it, it tends to ruin your brushes so they don't last that long. Okay, that one now has had the little motifs covered over 
Um, now I've got some glaze here, which is just needs a stir. Let's check we're still in the picture. Yeah, we seem to be. Just come in a touch. So I'm just going to give this a. If I have glaze in a bucket like this, then I generally stir the glaze from the bottom using a squarish stick like that, which goes down into the corners and gets the gets the glaze out of the corners of the bucket because sometimes it hides down there and then you might be missing then some of your glaze because the I use a, like a whisk one of those um, caterers whisks to so giving that a stir so I'm satisfied that it's properly mixed I think that is so what next right I've got a jug here got some water in it chuck that out now this pot you appreciate has not been biscuit fired at all this is still in its raw state okay So I have to be a little bit careful with this because what I want to do is glaze it on the inside and the outside and when you're raw glazing you have to be a bit, it's a little bit clever because if I just put the, the glaze on the inside and I don't put it on the outside it will just crack the pot because the expansion of the clay on the inside with the wet ingobi on the inside or the wet glaze which is very similar to an ingobi really, will cause the, the pot to crack in the rim. So what I propose to do is to glaze it first on the outside and then on the inside. So let's go down into the glaze, into the bucket. Whoa, now I've got a problem, haven't I? You see what my problem is? I haven't got space in there, so I'll quickly take some out because I want to Right. Now I'm going to pour that on the inside. Just take it up to the rim there carefully. Oh dear. Pour it out. Now can you see the maybe I could just switch the camera onto it closer focus. Can you see what's happening here? How it's resisted the glaze there, you see? My motifs. Oh look, this motif hasn't hasn't shown itself. There we are. No it has. Alright folks, that's a pot that's now been raw glazed. It's had wax resist with motifs. We'll put that now somewhere where it can dry and that will be fired in my propane reduction kiln up to approximately 1300 degrees. So, now basically the same story with this fella. I'm actually still, this was a, the squared vase you saw me do uh, still in its raw state, some with the whiting goby with the paintbrush just painted on the two sides here. I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to do it on the these sides or whether I was going to do another decoration. I'm still waiting on that one to see if I get an idea to just to do something different. 
on those two other sides of the declaration. Okay, folks, well, just a few insights there. I hope that's helped somebody, inspired somebody. Simon Leach here from Spain. Keep practicing. That's what it's all about. Hanging on in there, keeping going. Bye now.